made it to the spot. Let's go. What? They made a bridge. Cool. What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Big Z Fishing. So in today's video, I am hoping to land my personal best of striper. You know, for the past couple of years, your boy just been stuck on that 30 and a half inch striper. So I'm just trying to get at least 31 and a half or like 32. It really doesn't matter, even better, 40 inch. <laughs> Anyways, let's get to it, wish me luck. All right, guys, so for setup number one, I am working with the Team Daiwa Surf Rod. This is a nine foot medium heavy with a Pen Pursuit 3. This is a 5,000 size. For my main line, I am working with 15 pound mono. And for today's rig, I am working with the high and low. This is a pre made rig that I purchased from Fishery Supplies, guys. So if you guys would love to go ahead and visit my local bait shop, I'll go ahead and put their description down below. Like, I highly recommend that if you guys are beginners, you know, into fishing, they do sell pre-made setup, okay, guys? Pre-made setups that you guys can just purchase and, you know, easily, you know, tie up and put bait and cast in, okay? So keep that in mind. Um, for my hook, I am working with a 3 aught octopus with a 4 ounce pyramid weight. Let's get to it. So for today's bait, I am working with grass shrimp. And as you guys can see, these grass shrimp are massive. So yeah, the way I would hook these grass shrimp is I would go to the tail, to the head. just like that and make sure your hook is exposed man these grass shrimp are massive anyways yeah i purchased these bait from fishery supplies so you guys better hurry up and pick some up before they run out of these massive ghost shrimp i mean sorry grass shrimp so once again hook from the tail to the head just like that and there you go time to cast in as you guys can see it is incoming tide the water is still low right now so I better take advantage by walking as forward as possible and getting that line out there we are walking in the water Casting in. Wish me luck, guys. In three, two, one. Yes, sir. Now we wait. All right, so now that we got the high and low rig with the Team Daiwa with grass shrimp, we are going to set up my Phoenix Cicada. This rod right here, Man, ever since I purchased this rod, it has been killing it out there, guys, with halibut, sturgeon, striper. I mean, you know, I'm talking about at every trip I go to, you know, me trying to target that specific type of species, I'm able to land those type of fish with this Phoenix Cicada 10-foot rod, guys. Man. It was so worth it purchasing this rod. And I gotta say, you know, a scale out of one to 10, I give this 100. So yeah, working with the 10 foot Phoenix Cicada with a 4,500 pen slammer reel. For my main line, I am working with 12 pound mono. All right, so for this 10 foot Phoenix Cicada, I am going to be working with the Carolina rig is just a slider 
bead swivel clip three ounce pyramid weight for my leader line i am working with 40 pound mono with a four op hook if you guys would love to know more about this rod i'll go ahead and put the specs on the description down below all right so for that phoenix rod i am going to be working with the same bait grass shrimp people don't notice but different rigs do matter sometimes stripers would hit on carolina rig sometimes they would hit on high and low sometimes they wouldn't hit on the high and low and it would hit on that carolina rig which is pretty weird but yeah i guess that's how these stripers like it sometimes they like the high and low sometimes they like you know the carolina rig even if you use the same bait they won't even touch that high and low you know it's kind of weird but that's just the way how it works when it comes to fishing striper walking in the water i can see a lot of birds out here and boaters that's telling me that it's pretty active okay casting in Wish me luck. In three, two, one. Woo! Look at it. Look at how smooth that flies. All right. Now we wait. So yeah, as I was saying earlier, um, sometimes when you're using the same bait on uh, that high and low, or you know that carolina rig sometimes they're just more interested in uh, that high and low or maybe that carolina rig even if you use the same bait you know you can throw that high and low there all day while the carolina rig is hitting non-stop you know that's how it works that's how stripers are i mean um if you guys are wondering like man how come like i'm out here and the fish isn't hitting my bait you know it could be you know your rig setup so change it up Oh wow, I got a hit already on that high and low, baby. Let's go. Probably a little shaker. Three, two, one. <laughs> got him. Definitely got him. <laughs> I got him. Oof. Oh no, he came off. Whew. Man. Oh wait, I got him. I'm not sure, it feels really small. Oh yeah, I do got him. <laughs> it's a little shaker. Hey, like I say, you gotta filter through them shakers to get them keepers. Well yeah, no skunk today, baby. Check that out on a grass shrimp. Nice. High and low. Took the top bait and bottom bait too. Whoa. Sheesh. Back in the water you go, buddy. Get bigger. Call your mom and dad out here. All right. That's the start of today. Let's go. All right, so we are rebaiting with grass shrimp, but because I know that shakers are hitting, we have to work with that magic thread and the reason why when it comes to working with that magic thread is because majority of the time you will get a ton of you know small hits with them small stripers but you know it can happen majority of the time it does happen when that small hit happen you know sometimes that shaker striper aren't able to fully take the bait and you just never know like there's like a keeper striper on the side you know hitting um the same bait that the shaker you know couldn't um you know take so that being said when it comes to working with the magic thread it just stays on there like pretty good because we do want to get keepers right instead of shakers so yeah this is why i hate working with anchovies grass shrimp ghost shrimp and the reason why is because these shakers are like non-stop you know hitting these bait especially when you're working with a high and low majority of the time when you're working with a high and low 
you will get shakers non-stop all right first cast first catch second cast let's see what happens casting in Yes, sir. Now we wait. Oh, 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 hell yeah. That was a good hit, baby. Oh, this is the big one. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Let's go. Yes, sir, baby. It might be my personal best, guys. Woo, 12 pound mono, baby. Let's go. Holy cow. Yes, this is the big one, guys. Oh my goodness. Let's go. See, I'm telling you, sometimes they won't hit on that high and low. They want that slider rig, that Carolina rig. That's what the big fish want. That high and low rig, majority of the time you'll get shakers. But yeah, look, this is the keeper for sure. You know, when it comes to working with such a light setup you want to take it really easy whoa he's running oh my goodness it's a big one guys oh my goodness it's big i see his fin wow 12 pound mono baby let's go wow this is this is a huge one whoa whoa he's pulling drag oh my goodness no freaking way i just got here too whoa whoa it's a big one guys it's a freaking big one personal best yes come on baby come on i'm telling you man this phoenix cicada killing it come on baby come on whoa 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 he's pulling drag okay okay oh my goodness it's a keeper Yes. Yes, guys, this is the keeper for sure. <laughs> yes, we got a keeper, guys. It's not, you know, over 30, 30 and a half inches, but it's a keeper. Let's go ahead and measure him. Wow, we only got him for 20 minutes. Oh my goodness. Oh, I got another hit on the high and low. Oh my goodness, they are out here. Wow. I got to jump up top here. Another hit, guys. Back to back. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Wow. Just right when the tide started to come in. All right. Let's go ahead and measure this bad boy. I say this is a 21 or 22. Has to be a 22. Okay. Yes, sir, 22. My eyeballing skills are on point. 22 inches, baby, let's go. All right, so the Carolina rig is more effective for them keeper stripers. So if you guys do decide to head out here, make sure you stick with that Carolina rig instead of that high and low. All right, time to cast right back in. We might get our limit today, guys. They are actively eating today. So let's go ahead and cast in the Phoenix Cicada. One for the win, let's get to it. In three, two, one. Man, this rod flies so far. All right, now we wait, let's see what happens. There it is, I got another hit right there. There he is, come on. Come on, baby. Man, it is active out here. It's a shaker. Come on, take it. 
once that shaker lets go of that bait that's still on my hook you know that big one is just lurking around and that's when my rod go whoop put it back down I know for a fact that the bait's still on there and the reason why I know is because I wrapped it sometimes when these shakers you know try to you know take these bait they're not able to take it fully oh with that whoa 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 I got him yes got him oh not a keeper guys yes sir <coughs> Just when I was vlogging. Might be like a little shaker. Wait. A little 18 incher. Man, I only been here for like 40 minutes. I don't want to go home yet. I might release this one and continue to fish on. Yeah, this is a keeper for sure. 12 pound mono, baby. Let's go. Definitely a keeper, guys. We just limit out. A quick limit. Very quick limit. It is active out here. While everyone is out there halibut fishing, you know, stripers are active right now. Woo! There he is, keeper. Another keeper. Disregard. A little shaker. All right, like I said, we just have to filter through them shakers to get a keeper, right? Oh, he choked it. We have to save his life. No. All right, guys. So when fish choke the hook like that, the best way to remove it is from the gills. Keep in mind, when you guys do decide to do it this way by taking the hook out of the gills, make sure you guys don't injure the fish's gills okay so as easily just like that you can just pop it off from the gills and then out of the mouth he's bleeding but it will live guys okay check it out see actively swimming we are free to go and there you go man this phoenix cicada is killing it and the reason why it's killing it is because when a fish takes this bait they're not able to feel that there's a rod at the end of the line and the reason why is because this rod is just so flimsy when it flexes you know the fish will know that it's hooked when it constantly just swims away so yeah um let's go ahead and rebait and cast right back in Team Daiwa ain't doing that. It ain't doing that good. A little pecs here and there, the fish knows, and they just, you know, stop eating. But I do have like a little bite right now. So yeah, when it comes to fishing for stripers, best to work with a flimsy rod. Phoenix Cicada, back in. Three, two, one. Damn, this rod goes far. Oh, look, we got more fishermen coming in. Anyways, my team Daiwa is constantly hitting. But it's not hooking the fish. All right, let's wait and see. Wow, look at that. I just barely tossed this one in. And already I have a bite. Man, it is active out here. Ooh, the wind is picking up. That's a good sign. There it is. He's on there. There it is. Possibly another shaker. But yeah, he's on there. Three, two, one. <clears throat> Got him. Yeah. Woo! This is fun. Uh, yes, sir. Oh, wow. Feels heavy. You know, this is the best part about working with a flimsy rod. Everything feels big to you. 
I just have to get used to the fact that it's going to be an intense fight with any size fish that you hook onto. So yeah, um, I think this one might be a keeper. The reason why is because the drag is peeling when I'm reeling and it's moving to the left. So yeah, possibly a keeper. Oh yeah, no, another shaker, wow. Man, why does everything feel like a keeper? Even the 22 inch that I caught felt like the same fight as the shaker. Man, that's shaker number three. Back in the water you go. A little bit of blood, but it's not going to die. If you have a fish that swallow your hook and you rapidly pull it out, then yes, it will die, guys. But if you rotate the hook and just pull it out, then it will live. Cast them right back in. Man, this Phoenix Cicada is killing it. Team Daiwa, little peck peck, but it ain't hooking on. Anyways, back to back action. Oh, damn. All right. Oh, again, guys, another one. Non stop it. Oh, I got him. <laughs> There's a big one. It might be another shaker, but hey, it's fun. Yes, sir. It is Action City out here. Man, I just cast this one in like two minutes ago. All right, we know that the stripers are coming in. Come on, baby. Woo. Come on. Little baby shaker. We're out here to have fun, guys. If we limit out, we limit out. But yeah, this is, this is, this is much needed. Ugh. Back into the water you go. Rebate, cast right back in. Oh yeah, baby. You really gotta cast it out there in order to get a fish on. If you guys do decide to fish high tide, keep in mind that the hit is very long okay but you know it's very rewarding okay so that's that's fishing man sometimes you have to wait it out and see what happens but if you skunk there's always another day all right whoo non-stop action today more of a shaker type of day keepers here and there um i did miss a bunch of big hits but as you guys can see, it is pretty hectic out here. The water is literally splashing 10 feet away from where I'm sitting. And I'm like wet. So yeah, today was pretty much an educational video. From what you guys can, you know, see from here, the Phoenix Cicada rod was killing it, you know. My advice for you guys when it comes to fishing for striper is to work with a flimsy rod. And the reason why is because with the Team Daiwa, I'm getting constant hit back and forth. Like how it hits left and right, but I'm not able to hook them just like that. However, with the Phoenix Cicada, once I get that little tap tap, boom, it's going down. So yeah, um, keep in mind that if you guys do want to target striper and bring some keepers home here and there, make sure you guys work with a flimsy rod. Also, the best time to come out here is during low tide. And the reason why is because you can walk all the way down there and cast further out into that mark where the stripers are constantly swimming at. Today, which is a Thursday, the wind is at 10 to 15 miles per hour. And to be honest, it is not fun. Like, um, 
when the wind is pushing directly at you on where you're casting you're not able to cast that far so that being said I think your boy is going to call it a day because I've been just relaxing and chilling and these shakers are non-stop hitting my rod so I'm kind of getting tired hungry I didn't even bring no water or food for some reason I've been getting so much luck during the low tide here so yeah if you guys do decide to head out here best to come during low tide like I said all right so I am going to go ahead and bleed out this 22 inch striper but before I do if you guys are sensitive to this part of the content of this video make sure to skip forward okay it is still alive so the way to bleed off this fish it's pretty simple all you need to do is just grab one of its gill and pop it off just like that and as you guys can see it is pumping out blood go ahead and put it back in the water wait 30 minutes and then it's time to go all right time to pull in my rods and call it a day and so with this team Daiwa nine foot medium heavy do I recommend it I do not recommend it so a scale out of one to ten I give this like one percent time to reel in my second rod Phoenix Cicada this is a 10 foot Phoenix Cicada rod. Scale out of one to 10. What rate do I give this rod? I give it 100 guys, okay? So you don't have to work with this type of brand. You can work with something similar, you know, 10 foot Phoenix rod. Make sure it's just flimsy, flexible, and really light, okay? I mean, if you guys watch my recent post your boy is constantly hooking on to different type of species you know from sturgeon striper halibut i mean man i am in love with this rod okay so i am going to let you guys go if you guys enjoyed the content of this video make sure to like and subscribe thanks for watching until next time